Alright, welcome back to another episode of Laptop Retrospective, and today, at long last, we're finally working on the X220 yet again. I am really excited about doing this. There are a very short list of projects that are really left for me uh, to do with this machine. And today, if you can't tell by the screen in front of you, we are going to be doing a network or ethernet controller adapter swap. I want speed, I want Bluetooth, and honestly, this is one of the cheapest upgrades that you can do uh, to this, and what we've got here is the chip to do it, which is the Intel 7260. And there is one additional little thing that you will, well, two additional things that you'll need to do to get this working properly. The first is if you haven't already watched and uh, removed the whitelist BIOS video that I've created on this channel, you will need to do that for this chip to work. The other thing that you will need to do, and I'll make sure to get some uh, kind of B-roll footage in here, you need to tape or cut pin 51 on uh, the chip. Now, I don't know about you, the idea of cutting a pin just sends shivers down my spine because that means that I might not be able to use this uh, piece in another computer. So I will be going the tape route. So what we'll do is we'll do a tear down, take the old one out, put the new one in, do the tape, reassemble, and make sure that Linux is detecting the chipset properly. So let's get started. So if you're not familiar with disassembly of the unit, what we will need to do is remove the keyboard and the palm rest. So this is very complicated because all we need to do is remove the screws for the keyboard and palm rest, which are all clearly labeled. Before we do that, we'll make sure that the battery is removed. And then we shall proceed to unscrew the necessary screws. So that one has a palm rest picture on it. So we will unscrew that. That has a palm rest picture on it. So we will unscrew that. And while I'm doing this, it should be highlighted yet again that I actually use this computer daily in my home. So even though there are other computers that you see on this channel, you will very frequently see this one not very far uh, from my video staging area. And that is because it is my go-to. I use this in the kitchen. I use it in the basement. I use it in the office. I use it when I have to troubleshoot equipment off-site. And the reason for that is I can almost boot every operating system uh, with this unit. And I also got access uh, to all of the contemporary and legacy ports on this that a guy needs. And it's small, it's compact, it's got a good keyboard. Like There's a lot to, to like about this. Uh, so I wouldn't want anyone to get the wrong impression that just because I'm using uh, different hardware at different times that this somehow has become uh, less important to me because that would be quite the misunderstanding. Okay, now that we've got those screws out of the way, let's go ahead and open this up and jiggle our keyboard free. And then we'll go ahead and remove the ribbon, put that off to the side, and our palm rest should be good to come up. And it is. We've got to pop that ribbon cable down here. Okay, and let's do a little bit of camera adjustment. So that is our current Wi-Fi card hanging out right there. And we'll take note of the orientation of uh, the antenna here. So we've got black on the right and silver or gray on the left. Now, in the official video, you will see a tool that's used to pry up these antenna pieces. I do not have said tool. So we are just going to use the gentle encouragement of the wires to pop those contacts off and make sure that everything is out of the way. Take our trusty screwdriver, lift up and remove our old chipset. And we'll just get uh, that in the shot 
for those of you that are super curious to know what has come out. So there's all the technical details if you are interested. All right, so let's go ahead and open this fellow up. Now, on this, pin 51 is very easy to find. It is the furthest right pin. So what I'm going to do is put a piece of black electrical tape on the edge covering that pin to ensure that it cannot make a contact. And hopefully, when we reassemble, we have a working machine. So I'm going to go and cut that piece of electrical tape and lay it on there uh, right now. All right, so I have installed our uh, technical uh, signal disruption adhesive. And just so you know, do not wrap it around the back because there is a pin there that it does need to make contact with. So that's a, that's a no-go. But I am gonna be extra careful putting it in to make sure that the, the tape can indeed uh, fit in there. I am gonna yank this out to make sure that the tape is in the correct position and it looks like it might need a bit more uh, coercion as I suspected. So I'm going to reorient the tape and try again. So I've recut the tape. All right, that felt really good. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, try a reassembly. I fully anticipate having to do this more than once, but that's okay. Click. Click. Uh, what I am going to do is do a soft reassembly. So that means I'm not going to put any of the screws back in. I'm just going to make sure that everything is plugged in. And we'll do a boot and see if I can connect to the internet. See if terminal detects that there is indeed a network card. And as a bonus, we'll see if we can get Bluetooth working. All right, so this is our uh, soft reassembly, if you will. Okay, this is really good to see. We have uh, Wi-Fi networks being detected. So that means that our card is likely working. So let's just do a quick uh, connect and test. Okay, so Bluetooth looks like it's connecting. I'm going to try and pair with this speaker. And it says connected, so that's a good sign. All right, so here's a quick test comparing stock speakers to Bluetooth connections. So, underwhelming as always, as we'd come to expect from the X220. But if we change our speaker input, so we now have access to Bluetooth. Alright, so mission successful. We're going to put the screws back in and that was a very easy and uh, quite enjoyable little upgrade to do. We've got Bluetooth, we've got faster Wi-Fi. So that's a, a nice little easy upgrade and because we taped the pin, if we want to use that card on a future project, we can totally do that. Thanks for the wait on this one. I know that there's a lot of people out there that probably wondered when I was going to do another X220 video. They are still in the plans. Um, they're just, they take a little longer to do because I want to make sure I get the right parts. And I also want to do it uh, right. I don't want to burn out this project uh, all in one month. If you like this sort of content, please feel free to consider showing your support by hitting that subscribe button. 
If you have any suggestions on what projects you want to see next with the X220, also let me know in the comments and I shall see you later.